colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com. Hello, my beautiful people. How you doing? My name is Olivia Nantongo. I'm a wellness and nutrition therapist. Today, I want to talk to you about ED, erectile dysfunction, also known as impotence. This is the inability to get and keep an erection firm enough for sex. Having erection trouble from time to time isn't necessarily a cause for concern but if erectile dysfunction is ongoing, however, it can cause stress, affect your self-confidence, and contribute to relationship problems. Problems getting or keeping an erection can also be a sign of underlying health conditions, of course, that needs treatment and a risk factor for heart disease. So if you're concerned, about erectile dysfunction, talk to your doctor, even if you're embarrassed. Sometimes treating underlying conditions is enough to reverse ED. In other cases, medications or other um, direct treatments might be needed. And have in mind, this is very common. And no, it shouldn't be, but this is very common. More than 3 million newest cases are reported each year. And the symptoms uh, include uh, getting trouble, uh, I mean, trouble getting an erection, <laughs> trouble keeping an erection, reduced sexual desire, um, when to see a doctor. I would recommend a family doctor is a good place to start when you're having erection problems. So see your doctor if you have concerns about your erections or you are experiencing other sexual problems such as premature ejaculation. If you have diabetes, heart disease, or any other known heart condition or health condition that might be linked to ED. And the causes of course are many, but mainly the male sexual arousal is a complex process that involves the brain, hormones, emotions, nerves, muscles, and of course, blood vessels. So ED can result from a problem with any of these. Likewise, stress and mental health concerns can cause or worsen ED. And of course, uh, sometimes a combination of physical and psychological issues causes ED. For instance, okay, a minor physical condition that slows your sexual response might cause anxiety about maintaining an erection. Not so. This resulting anxiety can lead to or worsen your ED. So you have uh, physical causes of erectile dysfunction in many cases, okay? Erectile dysfunction is caused by something physical and these common causes include heart disease, clogged blood vessels. Remember this area need a lot of blood flow, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, uh, metabolic syndrome. This is a condition involving increased blood pressure, high insulin levels, body fat around the waistline and high cholesterol. Uh, then you have uh, Parkinson's disease, certain uh, prescription medications, of course, uh, tobacco use, especially long term, uh, 
Pyronis disease. This is the development of scar tissue inside the penis. Alcohol uh, and other forms of substance abuse, sleep disorders, um, treatments for prostate cancer or enlarged prostate. And of course, surgeries or injuries that affect the pelvic area or spinal cord, uh, low cholesterol, and of course, we have uh, the psychological causes of ED. Like I said previously, the brain plays a key role in triggering the series of physical events that causes an erection. So starting with feelings of sexual excitement, a number of things can interfere with the uh, sexual feelings and cause or worsen ED. And these include depression, uh, anxiety, or any other mental health condition really such as stress relationship problems due to stress again uh poor communication or other concerns within the relationship uh and of course risk factors as you get older erections might take longer to develop and might not be as firm so various risk factors can contribute to erectile dysfunction. That includes, as I said previously, tobacco use, which restricts the blood flow to the veins and arteries and can over time cause chronic health conditions that lead to ED. Being overweight, especially if you are obese. Uh, now, certain medical treatments such as prostate surgery or radiation treatment for cancer injuries particularly if they damage the nerves or arteries that control erections uh, medications including antidepressants antihistamines and medications to treat high blood pressure pain or prostate conditions um, the uh, psychological conditions I mentioned before, the stress, anxiety, depression. Now, drug and alcohol use, especially if you're a long-term drug user or heavy drinker. Uh, complications uh, resulting from ED can include uh, not being able to satisfy your partner. So that's leaving you with unsatisfactory sex life, stress, anxiety being caused by that again, embarrassment, or low self-esteem, relationship problems, the inability to get your partner pregnant. So this can cause some heavy problems. Of course, we're gonna talk about prevention and the best way to prevent ED is to make healthy lifestyle choices and to manage any existing health conditions. For example, work with your doctor to manage your diabetes uh heart disease or other chronic health conditions uh see your doctor uh for regular checkups and you know medical screening tests stop smoking okay stop smoking limit or avoid alcohol and of course drugs exercise regularly it helps take steps to reduce stress get help for anxiety depression or any other mental uh, health concerns that you may have or suffering from now ed can be cured okay in summary yes it can be cured so it will all depend of course on the cause but some in many cases okay ed is easier to to uh, cure or improve than others but with the right diagnosis, of course, and support, the treatment is possible and ED may be actually uh, taken away, you know, go away completely without needing medication like Viagra. So what is the main cause? Well, erections mainly involve the blood vessels, like I said before, and the most common causes for ED in older men are conditions that block uh, the blood flow to the penis. These include hardening of the arteries and, of course, diabetes. And other causes may be uh, faulty veins that lets blood drain too quickly from the penis, causing, you know, 
the pain is not to be firm enough, of course, or holding the erection long enough. Now, <clears throat> it's normal to experience a weaker erections as one gets older. But if you're old male and you're experiencing this, go to an expert to get medical advice, uh, diagnosis, prescriptions for medication that can make your erection stronger. Uh, and of course, nature has so much to give. Uh, the natural Viagra is considered to be the watermelon. Uh, the watermelon may be the natural Viagra, says researchers actually. That's because this popular summer fruit is richer than experts have believed. It has amino acids called citrulline, which relaxes and dilates blood vessels, much like Viagra and uh, other drugs meant to treat erectile dysfunction. Bananas, bananas are high in potassium, okay? Bananas also contain lots of flavonoids. Research found that men who ate at least three flavonoid rich foods per week on an average were 10% less likely to experience ED. So here are some steps that might help. Of course, I can't stop saying it. Quit smoking. If you have trouble quitting, get help. Okay? Lose the excess pounds. Being overweight can cause or worsen ED. Include physical activities in your daily routine. Get treatment for alcohol or drugs. The help is out there. And of course, work through your relationship issues. Communicate. This is not a one-way uh, drive, actually. It's, it goes both ways, you know. Help your partner. So, and then how to help your partner? Well, sometimes trying something new. Very often, a big, big first step is just enhancing the arousal. Because of the excitement it takes the pressure off have a conversation talk communicate go with your guy to the doctor yes be supportive and of course have patience with the pills encourage encourage your partner to a healthier lifestyle and remember if you feed him junk food expect junk love making yes all the food you're feeding him if it's not the right food it will affect him. So whether your concern is low testosterone levels or prostate health, use the foods that, that will boost, okay? And of course, uh, spinach is very good in boosting uh, a health sex life. If you didn't know that, spinach is very good. Coffee, apples, avocados, chili peppers uh, for the circulation, carrots, oats, tomatoes, beets, uh, and uh, papaya papaya is very good um, stay hydrated okay stay hydrated hydration is important for a strong penis so hydration is important for your overall health as well as for a health for health of your penis so eat a balanced diet get regular exercise practice pelvic uh, flow exercises these are not just for women they work excellent for men Maintain a healthy weight, practice stress management, of course, get enough sleep, avoid tobacco again, okay? Uh, can't stay hard enough with Viagra. Well, most common physical causes of ED include heart disease, like I said before, diabetes, nerve damage, and high blood pressure. Uh, hormonal issues such as low testosterone can also affect your level of sexual desire. So preventing, I mean, leading to uh, preventing you from getting an erection, even with Viagra. Have that in mind. So try the natural stuff like Korean red ginseng has been long used to stimulate the male sexual function. Uh, and ginseng has been found to actually, the ingredients have been found to act on the body the same way as Viagra. The herb has shown significant improvement in achieving and maintaining an erection, okay? And this is because when taken, it has a high dose of la that can stimulate the blood vessels to become larger. 
This improves the blood flow, which could help a man get an erection and hold it for a longer time. Uh, Yohimbe is another herb that is very good. Alpha Alpha has been proven to lower cholesterol. <coughs> Definitely good. It also regulates your um, blood sugar. And uh, it foods that are rich in uh, antioxidants, uh, vitamin K, copper, uh, folate, and of course, magnesium. And uh, ooh, other herbs that are good for uh, triggering um, excessive blood flow, you have um, uh, the uh, buckwheat. Buckwheat is very good, okay? use that and and do some research on your own you know uh jinko is very good biloba licorice root pumpkin seeds believe it or not put them in a smoothie blend and drink this ginger uh and when you're taking the um the uh oh <laughs> skip my mind let me tell you something that is really good that you should really really have in mind massages that area has two major lymph nodes if they are blocked so are they so so that's the blood flow okay so massages on a regular uh on a daily i would say on a daily will help improve the blood flow remember we want the blood flow here so do everything that you can start with the massages try the herbs and of course talk to your doctor this is a broad area that you know we can have so many discussions on uh let me know if you want a part two where i can go into a detailed um session with different herbs to use okay until then i'm olivia nantongo thanks for listening Starting your locker natural hair journey is oh so rewarding, but can be extremely stressful when you start to consider what products to use. If that's you, then look no further. Locklicious is a black owned company that has created an all natural product line for locked and loose natural crowns. The Locklicious team works hard to ensure that their products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, PEG, synthetics, and other toxic chemicals you find in other products. Best of all, the products are lightweight and will not leave residue or cause buildup. Go to locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.